In this tutorial, we will see how to create a 3D door. So we will be creating a door like this. So it will be having a handle also. Then it will have a frame outside it. And the design will look like this. So we will just start a new drawing. With default template. First we have to switch to our visual style to 3d modeling ok it is already there we will go to home then we will switch to south east action approach so that then we will bring this icon back using UCS icon more easy then first we will create a rectangle for the door size so rectangle so before that we will sh shift on right plane because we want to create a vertical door so we will just go to view click on this and say right so your xy will become vertical then i will come back to home then i will select rectangle then give the start point right click view dimensions so i want to create a 1 meter by 2 meter door so my width will be suppose I will be creating in mm so I will take 1000 as a length and 2000 as a height to the side double click and double click the roller till the next point so this is the overall door size then I will offset this uh, line inside by 200 mm so I will say offset oh, 200 then this line inside then I will explode this line so that I can offset individual lines. So I will say explode, modify, explode, select the line, enter. Then from bottom I will offset offset this line, bottom line at 650. So I will say offset 650, the bottom line and the upper side. Then enter again offset. I will say offset of 50 this line on the upper side so this is the internal layout that we have done then after that I will use the press tool to convert this into a 3D so I will say press tool I will press tool this portion by 50 mm offset so I will say 50 then if we see in conceptual visual style how it look like so after that internal portion is hollow so I will press pull internal portion also so press pull take this internal shape and I will press pull, press pull by 25 degrees then this plate internal plate that I will press pull by 50 so it will match the other side so I will say this by 50 and in the, uh, below I will again press pull by 25 so that cut I will get so again I will say internal by 25 degrees. So in this way my basic structure ok the direction was wrong so I will just undo the previous press pull so I will say press pull select internal shape press pull it outside on this side by 25 degrees. So now this overall layout is ready. But the, these are the separate objects. So I will uh, combine these objects using union command. So here is the union. And I will select all the objects. Press enter. So all the objects are now union. Then I will uh, to make it more attractive. I will just apply the fillets on these corner edges. So I will say fillet. And I will select all the corner edges. This is then I will give radius of 25 then this edge this edge then I will pan it up I don't want this edge just shift and click so if I try it undo I, can, I will try undo so undo there ok I will just cancel and I will again give the fillet fillet I want upper edge basically this edge then radius of 25 I want this edge this edge bottom edge this edge this edge 
bottom outside and upper top is uh, so this is the upper top is and enter so that fillet has been on so the internal work need to be handled also so in this way this part has been formed so this design has been formed so this internal was need, needed to be handled so it will look more nice so this overall door layout is ready so after that i will create a handle so for handle i will shift to front plane so i will go to view i will say front Then I will create a polyline here. So length I will take handle. I will make a fit or torn. Then length I want to be of 50 mm, and height I want to be suppose 150 mm. Again internal 50 mm. Internal 50 mm. Escape to come out. Then I want the fillets at the corner of that fillets we will take up 25 so we will say fillet then right click radius radius of 25 then right click we want to fillet a polyline so polyline click on the polyline so these fillets are applied so we want to keep a circle on this so we will just say circle we will take a radius of circle of 6.25 that is second uh, it will be 13 diameter then we will uh, sweep this circle on this shape so you click here we will say sweep then we will select this circle and we will enter then give the enter then click on this part and we have formed this handle so you want to place it here so we will just move it just say move select the handle so we want to place the center of this so we will just catch the center of one end center of this then we will put it here suppose from midpoint at 75 and I'm distance above so we will move the earth off we will track the midpoint and go up and we want to go up by 75 distance so it is not right now ok so we will take the reference of midpoint we will keep it there and again we will move it up upward or uh, we will move it inside again move command select the object then give the base point direction so we make the earth on so it will just fit so we want to go inside by 50 distance so just give 50 and we don't want this part so we will just delete this part so in this way this door is ready with the handle and then outside frame so for that outside frame we'll just go back to front go back to front plane uh, go back to right plane okay so right then come back to home then take a polyline so create our door size is 2000 mm by 1000 so we will create 1000 then vertical again 2000 enter so this is outside layout then we will create a rectangle for sweeping on this C so give the first reference point right click dimension so we will create a rectangle of suppose 100 by 100 so we will say here 100 by 100 then give the side then just say sweep then select object enter then right click so we want to sweep with respect to base point so we will say base point so i want to sweep 
with respect to this uh, this endpoint so i will just select that endpoint then select the path so this outside frame is created so i will move this frame and put with respect to the door select the frame select the midpoint so i want to put this midpoint on this side so we just drag it bottom line midpoint i want to catch so i will just move it upward so in this midpoint i will put it so in this way frame has been put on the around the door so after that i want to apply the material so i will just go to view then here material palette okay i don't want material palette i want tool palette so i will say tool palettes then i will from here tool palettes so different materials are wood material is available so i will take this wood plastic finish i will drag it and drop it on this and uh, to view that material i will go to render then i will say here i want to material and structure material and texture on so i can view that material so i will again catch this wood and put on the frame also so write the material so in this way the material is applied for the door then for the handle i want to apply some metal so here is the metal is there so i will take this one and i will drop it on the handle so in this way handle you can view in metal some metal so in this way we have completed modeling for the door so thanks for joining we will stop here